Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this section we will configure Tomcat configuration file using manifest files directory, contains static files, which managed nodes can download. In previous lecture we have configured the Tomcat to install and start the Tomcat services. Via install.pp and service.pp classes. Now in this lecture we will configure the Tomcat configuration file tomcat.conv. And for that first we will add the config class in init.pp. Next we will create the config.pp class and we'll add entries class. Tomcat colon config file slash etc slash tomcat slash tomcat.conv source puppet colon slash modules slash tomcat slash tomcat.conv Moto 644 Owner Tomcat Group Tomcat Now save file and validate the syntax by running puppet parser validate config.pp and also run puppet lint to check the code style. Fix the syntax and alignment issue. Also add the notify resource by adding entry. Notify service Tomcat. This notify resource will always refresh the Tomcat service if there is any file change in Tomcat.conv. Save the file and run the puppet parser validate again to check the syntax. And puppet lint to check the code style. Now we have configured the config.pp class so we need to place the tomcat.conf file in tomcat module files directory. Files directory contains static files, which managed nodes can download. So create a tomcat.conf file in files directory and copy the entries of an existing files from any of the tomcat installed node. Now save the file. Next run puppet agent hyphen t to validate the changes in node 1. Once puppet run is completed verify the tomcat.conf file changes. So we have successfully applied the file resource by using tomcat config class. Also if you have noticed Tomcat service refresh event. As there was a file changes and we have a notify resource in place for Tomcat service. So any change in Tomcat.conf file will also trigger a Tomcat service refresh event. Now let's verify it again by removing any of the line from Tomcat.conf file and run puppet agent hyphen t as there will be a file change so service refresh ever will also occur
OK, so in this section we have configured Tomcat configuration file using file resource. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.